Well, bicycles have come a long way, <laughs> certainly from when I was young. This is the Hemiway Escape. It's an e-bike. It's got a lot of power and it's got a lot of range. And uh, let's talk about whether this is something that you could use in your travels or around your town. First of all, this one was sent to me by Hemiway for review. And I chose this model for a reason. They make, they have three, three bikes. They have this, this one is the Escape. It's the moped style. Then they have the Hemiway Cruiser and then the Hemiway Cruiser Step Through. And Step Throughs aren't just for women anymore. They're, <laughs> they're actually a lot easier on the trail because you can get your feet out of them real quick. And uh, they're also great for people of smaller stature. But I chose this one for a reason. Number one, uh, in case you've been watching my video, you know that I've got torn meniscus in both knees. So I really can't pedal a lot. I can, a little pedaling is good for me for just to keep my knees strong, but a lot of pedaling and any stress on my knees isn't good. This one though is designed for uh, not only trail, but also for around town and you really don't have to pedal them. You can pedal them a little bit just to get them going if you want to. It just uh, makes the battery last longer and uh, also preserves the motor a little bit too. And you kind of help them going up, when you go uphill, you kind of pedal a little bit too. So for me, I thought this might be perfect to get me out on a bike again, which I haven't been able to do since I was like 20 years old. But I'm loving this one. I've had it for a couple of weeks now and I didn't get it myself so much for using while Linda and I travel. Um, I got it to use here in town because in the vicinity of my home, I have a, a Walmart, a hardware store, a post office, a grocery store, store, an auto parts store, a pharmacy, and they're all within just a few miles of my house. So with today's gas prices, I thought this might be a good idea. Let's talk about the bike itself. I have to pardon my shadow. It's uh, one of those uh, fall days where the sun is low. It's got uh, dual brakes. Uh, this is the front brake, rear brake over here. It's got your, you've got seven speeds because it's like, like a 10 speed bicycle. You can shift gears if you're pedaling it. This one's got seven speeds. This is the digital readout and it's even got a bell up here. This is the controls here where you can adjust the amount of assist up and down. There's a plus, plus and a minus here. So you can dial in how much assistance you want from the, from the motor itself. Uh, this turns the headlight off and on. This is your information for your panel. And this is the on switch. I'll push that here and you can see what happens. Battery life, the speed you're going, the amount of assistance, it always starts out on one, but you can dial up the assistance. This just gives you more power from the motor to help you pedal, or you don't pedal at all. Because over on this side, it has a throttle. Whoops, and there it went, because I have it turned on. <laughs> it has a throttle right here, just like a motorcycle. Usually I just get the, I get the bike going just barely, and then I bring the throttle in. Speed-wise, uh, up to about 30 miles an hour. I saw 28 miles an hour today on at 29. This has a, a limiter on it that limits the power to about 25 miles an hour, or you can bypass that. And I did that to get up to our normal speeds around here. The brakes are mechanical. So there's a cable on these. You can see here it's got disc brakes and I can tell you that they're uh, very effective and very smooth. Remember the old rubber uh, brake pads on the bikes that we had uh, uh, as kids or I don't know, they probably still have them, but they tend to vibrate or hum or shudder a bit when you stop. The disc brakes are totally smooth. It has shock absorbers on the front and it's got spring shocks on the back. So when you're riding, riding and you hit a bump or especially here around town, I love it because of all the unevenness in the asphalt and the lips and everything that you go over. 
Uh, if you're sitting on the seat, it takes the shock right out of it. Comes with a headlight on the front. And a taillight, brake light on the back. So whether the headlight is on or not, as long as that power switch is on, this brake light works. Here you can see it's got a Shimano uh, gear system here. Seven speeds. This is the rear hub motor. So it's got a rear hub drive. The handy thing about a rear hub drive is if your battery dies, um, you, can just, uh, you can still just pedal this right on home. Also, if your chain was to break, then, uh, which is very unlikely, but it happens, uh, you could still use the motor to get you home. Let's talk about the heart of the bike now, the battery. On the right side of the bike, it has a charging port here where you plug in the battery charger. It takes six or seven hours to charge off of the AC brick that comes with it. Over on this side is a key, and it comes with two, comes with two keys. And that unlocks the battery compartment. Then you turn this and it just and the battery just pops right out. This is a 672 watt hour uh, Samsung battery, lithium ion. So the, and up here it's got uh, lights you can read the charge. You can charge it while it's in the bike or you can take it inside and charge it, which I do, uh, just to keep it in more milder temperatures. Around here it's dropping down to freezing at night now. It's gonna get a lot colder. So I take this inside at night has a very effective lock in here. Um, you can't depress the uh, lock mechanism here, so you can't slip something in and unlock this battery. It's just the pin goes up and it locks there or it goes down and it locks here. You also, they've designed it so you can't wedge a screwdriver in here to pop this out either. This battery is very secure when it's in. Now the other uh, Hemiway e-bikes have 26 inch spoked wheels and the fat tire of course which is puncture resistant. But this one has 20 inch mag wheels. It also has the heavier frame here. And this model is 92 pounds. The other Hemiway bikes are I think about 20 pounds less. I don't have any problem lifting this one up because, you know, you usually just lift the front end and lift the back end uh, to put it up in, you know, if I wanted to put it up in my trailer or something. It comes just as you see it with that rack on the back. It also comes with a complete tool kit so that you can assemble it as soon as you get it. It has all the tools necessary to do the assembly, which takes about a half an hour. All the... Um, hard assembly has been done for you. You don't have to assemble the rear end at all. Just put the front wheel on it and the handlebars, headlight, things like that, and you're set to go. Here we go. Ta-da! There's a bike oh. in there. Look at that. It's the rear seat rack. The rear rack. It's made out of bamboo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I get the heavy side. <laughs> Back wheel, the important one, is all on and assembled. So all we have to do is put on the front wheel and attach the handlebars and then make any necessary, you know, put the front fender on. Back fender is already on. This looks pretty simple, really. I think I'm going to check the instruction manual. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, there. All right, there's that. Now we can flip it back over. And Well, what about the pedals? Let's install the pedals while it's upside down. Ooh, that bugger's bright. Good. Okay, so the assembly, um, yeah, it took some figuring out. It was nothing difficult, and like I say, we didn't have to mess with that back wheel. It's all set to go. And now the bike's set to go. 
On the 26 inch Hemiway Cruiser bikes, they have a regular bike seat which is adjustable. On this one, it's not adjustable. And I didn't mind that because, like I say, I don't intend to pedal it very much because this one is hard for me to pedal with my knees coming up pretty high. But I mainly just use it as a moped. Just use the pedals to get it going and then just use the throttle after that. But if you want an adjustable seat, then one of their other two models would be the way to go. Also, it comes with a two-year warranty on the bike and the lithium battery. I mentioned it has a 672 watt-hour battery. That's, um, let's see here, that's 50 or 48 volts and uh, 14 amp hours. It's a welded all aluminum frame, so it's plenty strong and it can support up to 330 pounds. I think I said the uh, hub motor was 720 watts. It's actually 750 watts uh, as listed on their website. So, do you remember the time you taught me how to crash a bike? <laughs> me? No, no, no. I, I remember very clearly, bang, Becklin in the side of the wall. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. <laughs> you welcome. <laughs> well, it's been about a week since I did the first part of this review, and I've been riding the uh, the Hemiway Escape a bunch more since then, and I'm really growing quite fond of it. But I thought I'd better share with you, uh, to the best of my ability, what it's like to ride it and what the controls are like on it. This side over here that I pointed out earlier, this is just like switching speeds on a 10-speed bike, except this has seven speeds. It's geared pretty low, one, two, and three here. It's pretty, really super easy uh, to pedal. And uh, this is a 92-pound bike, so going up hills would be uh, uh, a little more of an effort, but it does gear really low. This side over here, uh, like I mentioned, this is turning it on, uh, and this is your headlight to turn on your headlight, this button right here. And down here is uh, I information, brings up different information on the screen here. But I don't need to talk about that right now. What I want to talk about is this plus and minus. If I push the plus over here, it'll go to number two, three, four, and five. This is the factory setup. When you first turn it on, it's automatically on number one. That's actually quite a bit of assist just on its own. Uh, but as you go up hills and whatnot, you might want to increase that. If you're up on level number five, it's almost like a total, total assist and uh, very little pedaling would be involved at all. Although going up a steep hill, if you had it in high gear over here, that would probably be an option for you. But anyways, that's what this does, this plus and minus over here, is it adjusts how much pedal assist you have. Okay, first of all, this is just no assist at all. This is just in first gear, just pedaling the bike. And of course you can shift up sixth and seventh. Now on level terrain in seventh, you can get it going pretty fast. So that was just pedaling with no motor assist. It's just like a regular bike, all the shifting done on the right side. Now if I now it's in number one, the first level of assist, and it has a um, it has a, a, a sensor on it that senses when you put torque on the pedal. As soon as I step on the pedal and do about one revolution, that motor will kick in, and you'll probably hear it. There it goes. So whenever I start to pedal, the motor also kicks in. I'm not giving it any throttle at all. It's just, it's just helping me pedal. And it's quite a bit of assist. Okay, so we covered basically pedaling it with no, no motor assist at all, and then pedaling it with motor assist. Now the thing about the Hemiway Escape is that the seat is not adjustable on it. So this is basically really great for around town because it's, it's kind of like a little motorcycle or motor scooter. Uh, and 
Pedaling is kind of like you can do it if you have to, but you don't need to. So the third level here is just straight throttle, no pedaling at all. I kind of think that's what the Escape was built for, was you can use pedaling if you want to, to start out from at an intersection, and you can use pedaling to help you go up a steep hill. But basically for around town, because you can't adjust the seat height to get your leg extension correct, it's just basically throttle only. You basically only have one gear. It's kind of like cruising around in third gear on your car. <laughs> Although it is a little quicker off the line than that, but um, if you just use, use throttle only, there's no shifting at all involved. You don't have to worry about gearing or any, it doesn't matter where the left side is over here, the plus and minus, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where the right side is over here, it doesn't matter. You, you don't have to pedal this at all. All you do is use your throttle and go. Anyways, I just wanted to show you those things. I hope it helps in this review. Well, I've got exactly 25 miles on it and it's still showing I have more than half half a charge there. So it's around town, uh, some slight uphills, some slight downhills. It's uh, doing pretty good. This also has a walk feature for those times when you gotta you want to get out and walk the bike. If you just push and hold the minus button it'll assist you uh, in its walk feature. And the walk is power assisted. Well, what about drawbacks? Um, like I mentioned, this one does weigh 92 pounds. I think it is very uh, substantially built. And like I say, I got it for a round town. But if I was interested in loading it on and off a bike rack, I might go with the Hemiway Cruiser instead because like I mentioned, they're about 20 pounds lighter. So yeah, if you've got your camp all set up and you just want to go explore or you need to zip on into town to buy some groceries and you don't want to break down camp to do it, this is a pretty nice thing. Now the cost of this is the, the suggested retail price on the Hemiway website is $17.99, about $1,800. If there's any discounts available for this, it'll be listed in the video description down below. Be sure and check the written description and if there's a discount code or it's something like that over the years that you see this video, I'll try to keep up with that. It'll be listed below. So click on whatever website I give you and use whatever uh, discount code happens to be available. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this review. I only review things that I think that you can use, my viewers, my personal viewers. And that's usually things like um, solar, solar generators, you know, or portable power units refrigerators, solar panels, uh, now this Hemiway bike, things that us people who like to travel and explore can use. I turn down probably three to six review requests a day, and I only do two or three reviews a month, so you can see how I, how I have to filter all that out and handle that. If I think it's something that you can use, and if I think it's a good product, I'll review it. Otherwise, I won't. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please share it and we'll see you around.